Hello everybody, I hope you're all keeping well and safe. My name is Carol M. Creasy and I'm a local author. In, well, or local in Kent, that is. I do also travel to Suffolk to um, promote and sell my books as well, where we have a holiday home. Um, I've been writing since 1993 um, and I'm not self-published. I'm with a proper publisher. And my first book was inspired by my son, who was born with all sorts of difficulties. Um, it's called My Life is Worth Living. I'll just quickly show you the cover because um, all the hardback copies have now been sold. And so my publisher has published it again in paperback and it's also available on Kindle. So I'm very proud of the fact that that was um, a best-selling book. Um, then I um, wrote a novel called not just an affair which is basically about tangled love affairs um, and then I decided that I would like to try something dark so I um, invented a lady called Sadie Morton Brown who went around doing the most amazing things to further herself in life and so I title, entitled her Evil Woman. I had no idea that this book was going to be as popular as it was so within a short time I found myself um, writing a sequel which is called Evil Woman Takes Revenge. Um, so in the second book you actually find out why Sadie is so evil. And if I could just thank all the people that voted for Evil Woman in the Reader's Choice Awards of 2019 because I came third which was lovely. Thank you. Um, then after that, um, I decided to return to the subject of autism, which is always of great interest to me because it's such my family. So I wrote The Power of Love, which was set in the 1960s. And it's about the love of her mother, of a mother for her autistic son at a time when nobody really understood what uh, high functioning autism was and he, even the fact that he was the brightest boy in the class didn't stop him from being teased so it's how she fought to have him recognized as the person he was and is um, and then after that I thought I'd try a mystery so I, I, I did one moment of madness which is basically about a baby being stolen from hospital and there's three women that could have done it. So I trace the story of each one's life um, and why they might have stolen the baby and then it's up to the reader to decide who did it and it's all revealed at the end. But so far, nobody has guessed it exactly. Um, and also, again, I need to thank the readers that voted um, in the Reader's Choice Award because that one came third as well in um, 2018. Um, My Life is Worth Living is currently running first and the competition has finished. So I'm hoping that I will have actually won it, but I haven't had a official um, you know, notification of that. So fingers crossed about that. Um, not long after that, my publisher suggested that I write my life story, my memoir, and I thought about it. And uh, as I'm normally a very private person, I wasn't sure I could do that. But anyway, in the end, I decided I would. And so last uh, this, well, it wasn't last year, actually, it was earlier this year, but it's been a long year this year, hasn't it? Um, Candidly Carol was published. And it was published just as we were going into lockdown, which wasn't very helpful. But nevertheless, although I've actually only had three months of trading this year, the figures are good for it so far. So I'm very pleased about that. So again, thank you to everybody that has bought copies of any of my books and supported me on Facebook and Twitter. Um, it, every little help. So thank you. Um, I would like to mention that I'm also a club speaker and I'm, my bookings are actually coming in for next year because everybody's hoping that we'll be back to normal. Um, although I have agreed to do a couple of Zoom meetings if we're not. Um, and I do talk about autism and how it touched my family because it's a subject that a lot of people want to know about nowadays because so many people are affected by autism in one way or another, either with a family member that has it or they know somebody or they work with somebody. Um, and, you know, we need to get more awareness out there so that we can help people with autism to have as happy a life as the rest of us without being stressed and feel that they can't make their 
needs felt to other people. Um, what else have I got to tell you about myself? Um, I, I live in Kent. I'm a very active person. I like walking, go for long walks every day with my dog, particularly in lockdown. I play tennis and badminton, although I can't do either of those at the moment, or swimming, which is another thing I love. During the summer, I swim in the beach, uh, well, I swim in the beach. I swim in the water nearly every day. Um, in the winter, I'm afraid I'm a coward and I just look at the water and it looks a bit grey, so I don't. Um, so that's all I have to say at the moment, really. Um, having introduced myself and my books, I just wish you all to stay safe and well. And let's hope we can have some sort of Christmas this year, because at the moment, nobody knows what's happening. Um, just one more thing to mention. If the craft fairs are on again, I will be doing a book signing on the 10th of December of any of my books uh, for any occasion, not just Christmas, at St Peter's Hall in Stowe Market. So if you're around, I'd love you to come and see me, whether you buy a book or not, just come and have a chat because I love to meet people. God bless you all for now.